Hi, good day. I'm Pearl Skeltema, the CEO of Fitzani Estates. We are done with the tax season, so hopefully by this time you've submitted your documentation, you can sit back and relax, everything is sorted. Unfortunately, this is not the time to relax for managing agents. We are entering the season of annual general meetings. Why do I call it a season? Not all, but most body corporates have their financial year end at the end of February. And the prescribed management rules clearly dictate that an AGM should be held within four months after the financial year end. In the Sectional Title Schemes Management Act, Act 8 of 2011, the prescribed management rules is contained or are contained in Annexure 1. Please have a look at the rules from number 15 that specifically dictates or prescribes the procedure of an annual general meeting. The notice of the meeting. Who must the notice be addressed to? That is usually the registered members or bondholders that have noted their interest, the managing agent and all other related parties. How long notice must be given for an AGM? Standard practice, 14 days notice, although the trustees in certain circumstances can also give earlier notice, but never less than seven days. Furthermore, prescribed management rule 17.6 prescribes what the agenda of this meeting is, and you cannot deviate from that. All of the following must be discussed at an annual general meeting. First of all, establishment of the quorum. Secondly, uh, proof of notice that was given. In other words, the notices prior to the meeting, was that sent out electronically? Was it delivered by hand? Was it sent out per register post? Confirmation of that must be given. The minutes of the previous annual general meeting has to be approved. Matters that has not been dealt with or matters arising from the minutes needs discussion. You are also going to approve the audited report and as a result of the fact that very few or no meetings were held in 2020 due to COVID, it is most likely that you will at this year's annual general meeting be discussing two audited reports. The audited financial statements for 2020 as well as for the current year 2021. Thereafter, you'll be discussing the proposed budgets. And remember, there always have to be two budgets to be presented. One referred to as the operational or the administrative budget, referring to your normal month-to-month -month expenditure. Thereafter, you will be discussing the capital budget or the reserve fund budget, which is usually based on the 10-year maintenance plan which I know by now all of you have in place. Thereafter, trustees needs to be elected. An annual general meeting decide on the number of trustees to be elected. The election then takes place and thereafter either directions or restrictions are placed on the trustees. What also needs to be confirmed is have you made any changes to your conduct rules? So ladies and gentlemen, lots and lots of preparation to be done. If you require any additional information, please feel free to contact us at any time. We also provide you with um, an online training course if you want to learn much more. This is just annual general meetings. There are so much more to find out what is required from you as a registered member or scheme executives. We will talk soon. Thank you.